The Opportunity Rover sent this image on April 19, 2004, just a couple months after it began its work on Mars. Tiny 30 millimeter sized black balls scattered across the surface. Because of their appearance, the globules were immediately called blueberries. However, naming them is easier than explaining them. From the moment the photos were released to the public, a new chapter in the Book of Mars Mysteries began. From ancient times, the discoveries and photos associated with it have been shrouded in mysticism. Once upon a time, everyone believed in intelligent life and mapped the Martian channels. A little later, on Mars, scientists began to look for strange pyramids. When rovers began to drive on the red planet, the entertainment reached a new level. We will talk about the strangest objects found on the red planet in the next couple of minutes. Let's start with blueberries. The Mars rover had a spectrometer, thanks to which Opportunity quickly stated that the iron content in the balls and in the soil below them differed. If we cross out the theory about a Martian who scattered blueberries 200 million years ago and turned them into stone, we can make one conclusion. Some mysterious processes gave the objects a spherical shape and at the same time increased their iron levels. Since physics and chemistry seem to work the same way throughout the universe, scientists did a simple thing. They began to look for similar balls on Earth and found them in Mongolia and Utah. Predictably, they were formed with the help of liquid water, which as you know, sometimes gives stones the most bizarre shapes. Blueberries were accepted as indisputable evidence of the presence of liquid water on Mars in the distant past. The terrestrial balls turned out to be 10 times larger, not of such an ideal shape, and they were not molded so beautifully. Many scientists even said that the comparison is irrelevant because we just found remotely similar balls. There were theories about the meteoric origin of blueberries, and even that it was minerals like these balls that at one time sucked out the atmosphere of Mars, turning it into a desert. For now, that's all we know about Mars blueberries. Since there are few rovers on Mars, NASA does not want them to return to explore the same places. Of course, there's a 99% probability these balls appeared naturally. But how exactly? We will not know soon. The situation with Mars spoons is a little easier. Several of them were photographed. First, on August 30th, 2015, the Curiosity rover shared a photo in which big-eyed onlookers spotted a flying spoon. It was compelling because the spoon even had a shadow of the correct shape. A little later, another spoon was lying on the surface and slightly covered with sand. Then, on February 13th, 2022, the same Curiosity encountered a perfectly machined spoon. True, at the same time, it looks like both the rearview mirror of a Mars car and the shoe that the Mars housekeeper lost before turning into a princess. There's nothing much to explain here. These two finds, like the face on Mars, Barack Obama, a sphinx, a mermaid, and other strange stones, are the result of the work of our minds. When seeing some objects, the brain tries to find a familiar analogy for them. We lose the ability to look at the bigger picture and understand that these are just the results of the work of the wind perhaps water, and other Martian factors. Gravity is lower there, the atmosphere is rarefied, and there is plenty of space for such illusions. So we'd rather talk about really strange objects. For example, about the usual Martian air from Gale Crater. It is constantly taken by curiosity while studying the Martian atmosphere. At first glance, it's ordinary and a little depressing. 95% carbon dioxide, 2.5% nitrogen, a little less argon, and very small amounts of oxygen and methane. But there is a catch. The seasons on Mars are more aggressive due to temperature changes. During summer, the polar cap melts, atmospheric pressure increases, and the amount of gases changes. In winter, the caps freeze, the pressure decreases, and the gases react again. Curiosity measured the seasonal fluctuations of gases for six long Earth years, and everything was predictable and good with the main ones. Carbon dioxide, argon, and nitrogen follow a simple pattern from a ninth grade physics textbook. During spring and summer, oxygen concentration increases by 30% of the calculated values, and in winter on the contrary, it decreases even more than calculations predict, which with other gases works fine. Why does oxygen behave strangely? Melissa Trainer, NASA planetary scientist who led the study, reported that all three theories predicting anomalous spikes in oxygen levels have failed. Neither solar radiation, carbon dioxide, nor water vapor could explain the anomaly. The Curiosity equipment was rechecked five times, but there were no failures. 
but there was an oxygen pie friend, which also behaved weirdly. This is methane, whose levels on Mars also periodically increase abnormally. Moreover, at least for several years, the increase in the amount of oxygen and methane in the atmosphere occurred simultaneously. Both these elements are usually considered a sign of living organisms. Separately, the anomalous behavior of oxygen and methane can be attributed to the unknown laws of Mars nature, but the growth of their levels synchronously no longer looks like a coincidence. Unfortunately, we will not receive an answer to this riddle soon. We only note that we are talking about tiny fractions of oxygen and methane. There is no such thing as underground dinosaurs and megalodons. The maximum that can be expected is the activity of primitive bacteria in tiny areas. Nevertheless, this is an excellent demonstration that even the most ordinary matters on Mars behave differently. Like air, Martian dunes act anomalously. There are plenty of them, and their spectacle is beautiful. Sometimes they form patterns similar to human skin, sometimes on ripples in the water. Sometimes the dunes even look like the movements of the underwater troops of giant crabs. And that's not a problem. Dunes also exist on Earth and behave in a bizarre way on our planet, migrating and forming patterns based on complex laws and processes. However, in some ways, Mars is different from Earth. The atmosphere there is incredibly rarefied. This is where the movie blunder of The Martian lies with the devastating storm at the beginning of the movie. In reality, Martian storms are not very likely to blow an astronaut away. The wind speeds of the strongest recorded storms rarely exceed the 100 km per hour mark. On Earth's Beaufort scale, this is a normal storm. Except that Mars' atmosphere is a hundred times weaker than Earth's. No matter how strong the wind is, there is simply not enough particles in the air to cause severe damage. Imagine standing in a stream with water flowing incredibly fast, but the water is scarce and barely reaches your fingers. Would such a stream knock you down? Hardly. On Mars, the wind speed means nothing. Sandstorms are only dangerous for equipment. Solar panels and other elements are constantly covered with sand. But astronauts will never be blown away into space. This is the same situation with the dunes. For a long time, it was thought that all the patterns we see in the photos were a legacy from the distant past when the atmosphere on Mars was dense and dunes traveled around the planet. Then, millions of years ago, they froze, and now we are witnessing a stop-motion image. A little later, thanks to the MPO orbiter, scientists saw that the Martian dunes were still moving. True, very slowly, less than a meter per year. For comparison, on Earth, dunes can migrate up to 30 meters per year. This fits into the picture of understanding Mars. There is some atmosphere there, gravity is less, and the slow movement of the dunes can be explained. But then, scientists decided to measure the movement of the dunes Nila Patera. They were photographed for 105 days with an accuracy of 25 centimeter details. They concluded that in such a short time, the dunes migrated almost 5 meters. This is comparable to how some of the dunes of Antarctica moved around on Earth. And this is not quite what you expect from a planet with little or no atmosphere. Real hurricanes were required for the movement of such masses of sand, according to then calculations. Technically speaking, the riddle has not yet been solved. Scientists are still struggling to understand the laws by which Martian dunes work, moving at different speeds depending on the regions. The next weird find is a viral Martian door, photographed by the Curiosity rover traveling through Gale Crater. NASA immediately dubbed it the Dog Door, cooling the ardor of the seekers of alien life. The passage dimensions are tiny, only 30 by 40 centimeters. However, even edges and a mysterious passage stirred the minds of people with tinfoil hats. In reality, there are only two factors why this photo looks so attractive. Firstly, almost all curiosity frames are panoramas assembled piece by piece, which NASA also processes, smoothing out noise and focusing on interesting details. Therefore, the door looks so foreign. Secondly, do not forget the harsh weather conditions of Mars. Temperature fluctuations there can reach 70 degrees. Sometimes the rover says that overboard is quite a comfortable zero Celsius, and sometimes the temperature drops to minus 70. This is repeated all the time, and it is easy to imagine what stress absolutely any material experiences in such conditions. Based on these factors, and the fact that once these rocks were washed by water, scientists say that the door was formed due to a banal vertical crack. What caused it is not so important. The important thing is that there are a lot of similar structures on Earth. 
Look, for example, at Coyote Butte, Colorado. There, too, there are often straight lines and symmetry, simply because geologically the layers are stacked on top of each other. Erosion undermines them, and one vertical crack is enough to form an even opening. In the same photo, you can see a cobblestone with sharp edges. It is quite possible that he fell off this door under his own weight. This is just a tiny part of the Martian mysteries. And if you want to see the second part of the video, let me know in the comments. Well, we'll end by noting that there is a reason for optimism. Most likely, in our lifetime, a man will get to Mars. And at least we will find the answers to some of the riddles. That's all for now. See you soon, friends.